Alrighty, I should be using a tripod so I could, well, yeah, I'm gonna, I should, but so that way I can point to things, but I'll try to uh, explain. So I don't think this is going to be, and I'm happy, this is going to be a freaking logistical nightmare and a half, I think, um, from what I've been reading from the sustainment rules specifically, I think it's 55, 16. Um, it's about um, when you have to um, put in the, um, uh, both terminus markers for the origin and destination for the sus sustainment and the origin needs to have an active rail line or whatever to it, its um, factory resource uh, supply area that like that's how it's getting the supplies and I was like well there's nothing for Malta that way so that means the Brits are gonna have to bring supplies via resource shipping um, to Valletta then that I'm not saying it's not converted, but it, it and then use sustainment from Valletta over to um, Valora or any of the troops being uh, sustained uh, in Albania. Uh, I'm happy in hell. It's going to be a freaking logistical nightmare, but I think this is going to, um, you know what I mean? Like uh, showing like World War One from what I can see, um, and the fact that it's not you know I just can't fly supplies in and so on and so forth. It's going to be a freaking nightmare. Um, good and. Um, yeah, even from what I've been reading, it's always going to be just like a trickle of um, uh, troops or whatever. I've got a long way to go now. I think I'm going to have to start reading more on Malta, what the heck it was. I, from what I know, it was a um, a big medical, um, uh, like a casualty center kind of thing and whatnot. So anyways, that's it. Um, I'm loving this. So, okay, see ya.